So uh, a recent update has come out regarding uh, adaptive optimization, so I just wanted to cover that briefly with you. Um, if you're running SSMC 2.2, this is my uh, system that I'm on. I'm going to go to adaptive optimization right there, and then I've got this default a, uh, AO config, and I'm running SSMC 2.2, and this is a 3.2.2 ME1 array. And let's edit this, and under modes, uh, you know, the common modes were performance, balance, and cost, right? Well, now there's this premium mode, and premium mode specified that it would tier up all the busiest regions into the tier zero space. Just fill it, right? Whatever whatever is available, it would fill it. That actually never happened. Uh, AO premium mode was never released. But something better actually was released. Unfortunately, we have to switch to the CLI in order to use it. So here's the CLI, same system, and let's show AO CFG. So here's the configuration. And what we can see now is there's a minimum and maximum range that you can set for each AO policy. Now, why this is awesome is because if you had to set up uh, or you wanted to, let's say, uh, constrain the amount of SSD space that an AO policy was using, you would have to put in a growth warning for that CPG. And I think I've got a video on, on enabling growth warnings. And what that would do is when it would fill up the SSD tier and it would hit that growth warning, then AO would automatically say, okay, well, there's no more space, right? So it, it kind of regulated the tiering range of those regions underneath that growth warning envelope. So you'd have to set these growth warnings across all these AO policies so that you would have at least some additional space in SSD if you wanted to pin a volume and not have it fully provisioned because the best practice was that if you were running AO, any volume that you were pin that you pinned or or provisioned directly into the SSD tier had to be fully provisioned. And that just because the AO would fill up the SSD space and then there would be no space for that new write going to the volume and you'd have data corruption, right? So the best practice was only fully provisioned volumes when you pinned anything to the SSD space. Okay, so go back to this. So the cool thing here is now we can set up a minimum and maximum per tier that we can use to better shape and define uh, our AO policies. And if you're a, a hosting provider or your, your business kind of acts like you're a hosting provider, that opens up even more configuration um, uh, and enhancements for you because configuration options and enhancements because you, you can now apply these to individual AO policies. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to add an SSD um, tier zero here. So let's do a set AO CFG uh, T zero CPG. I think SSD RAID five, which is one of the default ones that are on there. AO CFG DFLT. Okay, so show. AO CFG, and now we can see the RAID 5 is in there. Okay, so let's set the, <clears throat> let's set the maximum values for, uh, for the SSD tier. So set AO CFG tier 0 max, and um, let's say 1 terabyte. And if we wanted to go further with that, we could say, you know, tier 1 uh, maximum, um, five terabytes uh, and nothing on near line, just let it fill up and then specify AO, you know, which policy AO, CFG, DFLT. All right, show AO, CFG. And now we can see that I have one terabyte maximum and a five terabyte maximum for tier zero and tier one. Now you can set a minimum too, and a minimum is just a goal is gonna to try to fill up as much, you know, consume that minimum amount of space, but if it's zero, it's gonna, yeah, it's the minimum, right? Zero. So why not have it to zero? Uh, but the maximum value is, is pretty cool. And, you know, to remove them, you're just going to go, you're just going to tell it zero. So, oops, uh, zero. And then here I'm going to say zero, enter. 
what tier zero SSD max zero. Oh, I'm gonna need a space there. There we go. Okay. Then show AOCFG, and now all the maximum values are gone. Okay, so great new feature. Uh, I like it. You just have to do it by the command line. Um, opens up a whole new world of possibilities. And please ignore the premium mode on AO. Thanks a lot.